What's up, everybody? It's time for another X-ray video again. Same setup as before, power supply and inverter. But we have a new good little thing there. It wasn't there before. It's a new earth tap. I didn't have any earth tap. So I'd put a earth tap there. And the cable, so you can see the earth tap, and the cable goes on this little cable ladder here to the main bus bar here. There's the cable, goes into the earth connector. So that is very handy to have when I do high voltage experiments like this. So I can earth tap. Can. <laughs> so I've got the setup as before. My frequency goes into filter circuit and resonance capacitor and goes into the X ray transformer. But this time I've got this little gadget here as well. This is actual X ray tube. And I want to see if I can actually power the filament by the cathode cable. So no, I don't going to run that. It's extremely dangerous to produce x-rays. I just want to see if the cathode cable contains the filament cables. So there you can see only the cathode cable is connected. And now I'm going to connect it into the transformer. Obviously I don't want to damage the transformer by doing this, running it open circuit. But it's just on 120 volts, so I don't think it's going to damage anything. It's supposed to run for 400 volts at this frequency. So I turn off the light and crank off the voltage. Got full voltage output. I can't see any filament lighting up, so I don't think it's going that way. Pulls 4 amps from the mains. Ah uh, no, it's not happening anything. So they may actually have run the filament voltage from that little connector there. Here you can see it, there's the filament connector, so they maybe use that instead of the high voltage negative cable. So here I open the end of that x-ray tube and there is a bloody lot of connections. Got every wire attached to that. It's for the rotating anode as well, but some of those connections or for the filament. Just uh, figured out which ones they were. But I think that these up here are all for a rotating anode thing. Or maybe those two. I should have checked that. Maybe I have some photographs of it. Yes, I couldn't film that. Tear down. I just got a bunch of pictures of it, so I can actually put them together somehow and do a little picture video out of, out of the teardown. Because I didn't, I wasn't on the teardown actually, not of all of the teardown. But uh, but I managed to get some photos out of the thing. So I put that to get together and put it on YouTube. So there will be a teardown video of the X-ray machine, but it's not a teardown video, it's just teardown pictures. And yes, we're going to have a teardown of that, uh, that as well. That was the detector, X-ray detector, that was interesting as well. So maybe put the video of the X-ray machine first, and after that we're going to put the teardown of that detector. 
But that this was all about this video. Thanks for watching. Yes, I know we want some more arcs out of that. Yes, I have this oil which is inside those connectors smells absolutely amazing you want to smell that very nice smell it's it's not normal mineral oil this is some kind of special uh, synthetic oil oh thanks for watching